know it. But this year, it just really hit me. And I know it because as old as I am, I'm still learning something new almost daily in God's Word. Um, passages of Scripture that I used to just toss off as, and now I read them like, meat. I have them as coffee before I have my, well, not before I have my coffee. I'll be truthful. Have it with my coffee first thing in the morning. And um, it's, so if you don't, if you are not in the Word, be in the Word. And and just knowing that you can, before you even get in the Word, you just pray and ask God to quiet your racing thoughts and quiet your heart and speak to me. Help me to listen. And oh my goodness, I'm just amazed. I, I'm embarrassed that I'm this old and amazed that God can speak to me. Um, but I am, and I'm grateful. Amen. <laughs> I just want to take this time to <clears throat> thank the church. Um, well, over a year ago, I had a major health challenge, scare, and I was given a 50-50 shot. Um, I had to get a certain procedure done. And the doctor said, I'll live a while if I don't get it done, but I definitely will uh, pass away sooner than I would have God's plan is. Anyways, I prayed that night, and I have some friends here in the church that really prayed for me, and I know everybody in the church prayed for me as well, and it's only through God's good grace and all the prayers of the church that I'm standing here today, you know. Grateful. Praise the Lord. Someone else. blessed us so much this year. Um, Johnny and I especially, we have a lot to be very thankful for. Um, he has allowed us to have joy in our lives, literally, and in little form. Um, and that has been a very big change for us, and we've been blessed to be surrounded by people to help us with this new transition in our lives, like Pastor Tim and Tony and Q and their wonderful family, our Haven family, now our Highland family. We are just so thankful for all of you guys, and um, we're looking forward to moving to Fitchburg and to being able to serve side by side with all of you guys, and any way that the Lord touches on our hearts going forward, we're just very excited for this new year. Um, and I'm looking forward to all the great blessings he's gonna give us in 2019 that we get to share with you next year. Amen. Anyone else? When you get to be my age, you're sometimes looking forward to how many years left to um, retirement. And I was always one of those people who thought, oh, no, I'll be still working till I'm 80. But the Lord had another plan, and I found myself without a job in the middle of the summer. And I'm not going to say I'm glad I lost my job, but uh, we've seen blessings from that already. Um, one of the things is Stephen and I have been married almost 45 years, and there have been times when our finances have been up and down, and one thing that the Lord has always taught us is the value of frugality and all the things that you can do without. And when we think about how much we have in spite of the loss of one of the paychecks of the family, man, we are still way ahead of most of the world. And we really do have to have that um, attitude. I also just started a job as a homemaker. I've had one client for one day. And it was the sweetest little 80 plus year old woman. And I thought, you know, if the Lord blesses me with being able to touch people's lives for a pittance, I don't care if there's a paycheck involved or not. This is a blessing and a ministry, and I'm really looking forward to how it's going to play out. 
Thank you, sir. I'm thankful because I love my mommy and daddy. That's awesome. Anyone else? Something to be thankful for. He has worked in this church in the past year. And, and being on the search committee, it was so eye-opening. But after a while you go, are we going to get a pastor? And he gave us a wonderful pastor and his wife. And I see the church going forward. I see new and exciting things. And it's been a miracle to me to see how God has answered our prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Anyone else? Okay. I'll praise the Lord. 